Don't you want to see more women running for school boards who will fight for better schools for our kids? Don't you want to see more women running for mayor and governor who will put our families first? Don't you want to see more women running for Congress who will champion equal pay and equal opportunity? Don't you someday want to see a woman president of the United States of America? It's pretty early in the campaign and there's this many people here already. Everyone's excited to meet her. I'm very excited that my granddaughters are able to be here enjoying this making of history. Being able to vote for a woman as my first election, that's pretty awesome. Women can do anything. Please welcome UNLV student Alicia Morgan and Hillary Rodham Clinton. Do you think when you're president you'll be paid as much as if it were a male? Well, this is, this is one of the jobs where they have to pay you the same. But there are so many examples where that doesn't happen. As president, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure not just the president gets paid the same, whether it's a woman or a man, but every woman in every job gets paid the same as the men who are doing that job. As a mother of two daughters, I think it's really important for us to shatter that glass ceiling, but I also am concerned about their reproductive rights. I'm going to defend civil rights and human rights starting with defending a woman's right to choose. It is just outrageous what we're hearing from Republican candidates. At some point, I wish they would talk to people like the ones I talk to who get their health care at Planned Parenthood. As a woman and an African American, it's, you know, in my lifetime I never thought I would see an African American president followed by a woman president. We've got two young granddaughters and we want to make sure that their future is protected. I think about my mother, Dorothy. Her life was so difficult. But she had that commitment to make tomorrow better. And when I think about her, I think about so many people in this country who get up every day and do exactly the same. And then the other person I think about is my new granddaughter, Charlotte. I don't think you should have to be the grandchild of a former president to know that you can make it in America. You should be able to be the granddaughter of a factory worker or the grandson of a food service worker. It's time, it's long overdue that we, we make history and elect Hillary Clinton the next president of the United States. I wish my mother could have seen the America we're going to build together. An America where a father can say to his daughter, you can be anything you want, even president of the United States of America.